In this video, we are going to discuss another Go High Level feature called Trigger Links. Now, Trigger Links are created inside Go High Level, so you can perform actions based on a link click. By definition, Trigger Links are those links. If a lead or if somebody clicks on those links, you can create an action or you can just create an automation based on that link click. Let's go to trigger links so we can understand it better from high level so let's go to marketing and this tab over here called trigger links I'm gonna delete those trigger links that we have right now so I can give you a use case let's imagine a use case where you are selling something to your audience and you are doing like email follow-up campaigns or like doing email and text campaigns what you want to be able to do is in those follow-up campaigns you're gonna give them two links called interested and ask me later like if you're interested in this product click here if you want to think about it later or if you're not interested at the moment just click on ask me later things like that so let's create the first two links it will be interested and this is the actual link where you want them to go once they click on interested so let's assume we want to tell them to go to google.com and for ask me later i want to take them to another link definitely not google or ping i'm just showing you as an example here now we have created two trigger links one interested another ask me later we are gonna include these into our email campaigns or sms campaigns now you can connect these like you can mention these into your emails which is easy let's let's go ahead and do it so i can explain it to you how it's done let's create a new workflow from scratch so we're gonna assume this is our follow-up campaign where you're going to include these two links I'm just showing you I'm not putting any trigger so this workflow is not going to be activated anyway I'm just going to show you how to include the trigger links so this is the email body right so in this one I'm going to say if you are interested click here we're going to go to we're going to go to trigger links and click interested so this trigger link is going to be replaced by a link in the email body so when people click on that they're going to go to google.com but you're going to be able to track who clicked on that link that's the whole purpose of trigger links now if you are not interested for now but want to think about it later click here something like that so we're gonna say ask me later because these are the two links we created now we're gonna save and this is how trigger links are included in emails but now let's assume we have that campaign we have our trigger links in those campaigns but now we want to be able to track them so let's assume let's go back and let's create another workflow which will be interested and not interested or ask me later so this is the one that trigger link clicked this is going to be activated when somebody clicks on any of those links how are we going to define that in, in this workflow we are going to go to triggers from here so this is what will trigger the workflow we're going to find trigger link clicked this is going to be trigger link interested in the filter we're gonna the if there's interested okay done so this is a trigger link that will be executed when somebody clicks on interested right now the second one will be uh which will be called ask me later now let's find that trigger link in the filter there we go done 
Now you can have separate workflows for these two. Like you can have one workflow which will track the interested ones, another workflow which will track the ask me later ones. I'm doing it in one workflow. That's totally up to you really. So in this one, we are going to filter out the two. And before we do that, let's save the workflow. Make sure you save it once you set up these two workflow triggers. Now I'm going to say if workflow trigger is interested, if somebody clicks on interested, I'm going to have one type of follow up here. Another one in this part is going to say ask me later. If the workflow trigger is ask me later. This branch will execute only for the interested ones who clicked on interested and the second one will execute on click on ask me later trigger link. You can perform all sorts of stuff like send email, SMS. So if somebody clicks on interested, you're going to have to follow up with them like uh, like sending payment links and stuff. If somebody uh, clicks on ask me later, you're going to have to send them to another long term drip campaign, like send them uh, future follow ups. Like, like if there's a campaign in the future you want them to be a part of, you just add them to it. Like all sorts of automations you can do after they click on these trigger links. This is what trigger links are all about. You want to be able to filter out your audience based on what action they perform, what link they click on.